Right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining how much the garden renovation has cost from start to finish. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did upload a video to my channel to show the entire garden renovation. So if you wanna check that out, head over to my channel and you'll find all the different parts as well, which explain in detail all the different things. So how I built the retaining wall, how I built the patio, and everything else with the lawn and the different things that we've got going on in the garden too. The links to all the different parts should hopefully pop up on the video too as I talk through them. So we'll start off then with the retaining wall. For the wood, it cost around about £400, but for all the extra bits, so for things like the mattock to help dig the trench, uh, for the postcrete, for all the screws and things that I used when it came to fixing the steps in place. It, it all came to around about £680. So not too bad considering, you know, the retaining wall it stretches the entire length of the garden and it's holding up this top tier too. So the next thing that we did was we laid the patio. Now, in total, the patio cost around about £775. So the actual slabs themselves were around about 350 quid, but the rest of the money it went towards the hard court, the sand, the concrete, everything that we used to actually lay down the patio. So after we laid the patio, we didn't do anything then for the next six months because we had uh, the autumn, the winter, and then when it got to the spring, it came time to lay the French drain. I put the French drain in place because I realised that after I had built the retaining wall over the winter, loads of moisture was just sitting at the bottom of the wall and I knew we needed to get rid of all that moisture somehow. So it's, it's something I probably should have done when we originally built the retaining wall. And ideally, you'd put a French drain system going behind this wall so there's less moisture that's having contact with the wall. You know, hindsight's a beautiful thing and putting it at the front of the wall has seemed to have done the job because for the last six months or so, we've not had any moisture sitting inside the wall after a rainfall. So the French drain cost about £90 in total and that included the pipe itself, the stones that went below and above and also the weave membrane too that we laid down before we put the first layer of stones down. And after the French drain, it was time to level the clay soil at the bottom tier of the garden. Now the actual manual labour side of things for levelling the clay soil cost absolutely nothing but we did bring the front part of the garden down quite a bit and we had loads of clay that we had to get rid of so we had a big heavy i think it was a five ton skip we went for in the end i can't remember is he a five ton or it was more than that i can't remember it wasn't the smallest skip anyway but that cost us 210 pound and it was quite good getting that skip because we we had the flexibility of having it for as long as we needed it really but we only ended up having it for around about i think a week week and a half on the driveway because it only took a couple of days. The next thing was to get the tops off, the bottom tier, and to seed brand new lawn from scratch. Now, in total, the bottom tier lawn cost around about £175 all in. So that included the topsoil, it included the grass seed, and also the pre-seed fertilizer as well, which sort of give the grass seed that boost it needed to get it growing. Now, the topsoil only cost £115, and the reason for this was because I used a local supplier. Now, before I do move on to explain the rest of the costings, I just want to show you the state of the lawn though at the moment so i'll show a clip on screen now of what the lawn used to look like and this is what the bottom lawn is looking like today you can probably tell we got a dog recently and all of these burn patches and these dark patches are because of where the dog's been weighing lots of the nitrogen in the dog's wee has been giving the grass a bit of a boost over the past few weeks and you can just tell you know the state of it where it's been weighing what i am planning to do is to renovate this lawn over the next couple of weeks to try and you know salvage something out of it before the winter and if not I've always got next spring to hopefully try and revive it. Now, before I get onto how much this cost up at the top, the next thing that we did was the flower bed over here. Now, all in, the flower bed was around about £30. And the reason being was because we only need to get a little bit of bark, we put some lawn edging down, uh, we got some new plants. Not really a major cost when it came to that one. But when it came to doing these flower beds down here, which you can tell now aren't flower beds, again, the dog has destroyed them. This bordering plus the plants, it cost around about £125. So we had the membrane down, we put some fresh topsoil down, uh, we put plants in, put the bark over the top. I mean, next spring, we're hopefully gonna change this because the dog just digging here, fire slugs, and pull all sorts of things out of the ground, like worms and whatnot. So I'm thinking next spring, what we might do is do something like what we've done here with the stones, but do the same at the bottom as well. Then it came time for the top tier. Now, this is why I think it's probably one of the most cost efficient parts of the project so far. So it cost around about 125 pounds. But that 125 pounds included all the lawn edging and even down at the front and it included the top soil, which some people have commented on one of my videos and said, oh, you only put about an inch or two of top soil down, but you can see, you know, 
the grass is really thick. It's really healthy. I've taken care of it. I've cut it often. I've been watering it when we've had sort of like hot periods and I've fertilized it too. So as long as you, you stick on top of your lawn, regardless of the quality of the soil underneath, you know, you can get a really nice, healthy looking lawn. Then for the patio bordering, so all of these stones, all the membrane that's underneath, all of this, even the step there, all of this cost around £72 for all of the stones. And finally, for the box hedges, it was around about £145. So in total then, the whole garden renovation cost £2,527. Now, two and a half grand is a lot of money. When it comes to actually renovating your garden and doing all the things that I've done to this one, two and a half grand is a bit of a steal. Even if you save thousands of pounds, it's your time that you're spending out here. Now, I personally didn't mind. I was happy to come out and learn all these different things. I never knew how to lay a patio before I started any of this. I didn't know how to build a retaining wall. I didn't even know how to have a lawn as nice as this. It, it's worth, worth the time and effort. And I'm not saying it's the best lawn in the world. I'm just saying I'm happy with it. And that's, that's all that matters at the end of the day, really. So the last expense then, the last one, and it was the biggest expense of the entire thing was this furniture so we got the parasol we got the corner suite we've got the two little stools and we got the table with the fire pits in the middle uh, that came to 1500 pounds now altogether it was meant to be 2000 pounds but it was on offer in one of our local garden centers so the entire renovation including the furniture did come to four thousand pounds even though i've uploaded the, a video to say the renovation is complete it doesn't mean that the garden is finished now the original plan to create a garden that had two tiers it had a patio a retaining wall really nice looking lawns that was step one that's what we wanted to do that was our renovation and that is complete however there are lots of projects that i've got in mind so i've had quite a few people comment over the past 12 months about a lot of the brick in the garden and as you can tell it's very very brick heavy but look at maybe even have some planters maybe some uh, plants along the front here maybe a flower bed to hopefully try and cover some of the bricks and some of the white marks or even just getting some paneling so having some air uh, so almost like a trellis looking thing we have a trellis going along here we could have some like climbing plants or hanging plants all that sort of stuff and also as well down here now the main intention was to have this space here as the barbecue station however the only problem is we don't have a barbecue to put there and with it being september now i can't imagine i'm going to be in the garden doing much barbecuing anytime soon so the plan for this space is that in spring next year hopefully we're gonna get the barbecue station done we're gonna buy the barbecue buy all the things we need we're gonna put stuff on the walls over here as well just to soften the sort of the brick aesthetic so i hope you have enjoyed today's video if you found it useful or you found it interesting feel free to give it a like and if you want to see any more of my garden renovation or any of my other lawn tip videos and things then feel free to subscribe and finally thanks for watching